So you're thinking of installing Linux Mint 17.2, but you're not really sure which desktop environment to go with, whether you should try out Cinnamon or Mate, 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 the older one. Well, in this video we're going to be having a look at the older one and having a look at what sort of features it's got that might give it the edge over the Cinnamon desktop. Which one are you going to end up running? That's entirely up to you. But hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a couple of ideas up your sleeve. Okay, so the Mate desktop has a lot going for it in its own right. It is based on some older tech, it is a fork of GNOME 2 from back in the day, but this is the Linux Mint that I know and love, and I guess in many ways it's what I'm most familiar with when it comes to Linux Mint, and it, it definitely resonates strongly as, uh, as this is a desktop environment that hasn't really changed much over the last, oh, let's say five, six years. The central hub of Linux Mint centers around the Mint menu, and the Mint menu has got to be one of the most loved and adored Linux, uh, Linux menu systems, or even just operating system menus that I've heard of. You have your favorites there, which are, uh, you can add and remove things at your will, and then you've got your all applications categorized by all the different software categories. Then you also have a search filter bar down the bottom here that not only can you find a different application, for example, if we were going to look for an email client, we'd look for Thunderbird Mail, or if we were wanting to look for our backup tool or maybe our file manager. So not only does that almost instantaneously, but it also does some other fancy tricks like installing packages from the menu. Uh, so this is something that I really appreciated. And again, this is not really anything new, but I'm going over the basics here so that everyone is on the same page with what Linux Mint Mate Desktop is capable of. So you can actually install software straight from the menu, which is pretty awesome. Now the other things that are specific to the Linux Mint Mate Desktop is its own level of customization. So first of all, if we go into the desktop tool, which is uh, Mint's own tool for customizing the desktop very simply a lot of these just edit the way that the desktop looks and feels so you can either have the window controls on the left or the right hand side you can use Marco or Compiz as your window manager and switching between those two is a wonderful addition uh, and they've had this for a little while but it's great to see uh, that it's it's just nice and easy to use either a lightweight window manager that's just going to do the basics for you nothing flash or whether you want to switch to an effects driven uh, Compiz layout it's entirely up to you you also have your interface and terminal options, and these are just going to give you a little bit more customization as well as enabling the fortune cookies inside the terminal if you're into that kind of thing. You can also add and remove desktop shortcuts, whether it's mounted volumes, trash, network, etc. And then of course you can customize the look and feel of the desktop uh, with all the different colors of the Mint icons, as well as you can install other themes as well through the Get More Themes Online. Uh, and that'll take you straight to the uh, Mate desktop theming website. Uh, you also have a bunch of backgrounds there that you can switch to, and you can also customize the fonts for almost every single part of the system. Uh, now, it's also worth mentioning that they do have their font smoothing and your font rendering there, um, so I, it's best to go with subpixel smoothing if you're using an LCD display, which let's face it, most of us are, um, but you can customize those fonts there. You can customize every element of the theming as well if you really want to get down into it, but I'm not going to do that here today because I simply don't have the time. It's also worth mentioning in light of a centralized action center in Windows 10 that, um, that Linux Mint Mate has a central control center that they include all of the um, all of the controls that you could possibly want on your system in one window, uh, which is really helpful and uh, you can see it's categorized into pretty sensible categories, your personal settings that only take effect for, the, uh, for your user account. Then you've got your network and, uh, and internet, you've got your hardware, and then you've got your system, which is pretty much all the Mint tools, as well as a couple of other bits and pieces to help you get your drivers up and running, uh, back up, set, set up your backup and things like that. Now most of the other tools that you're going to find in the Linux Mint Mate Edition are going to be found on the Cinnamon one as well, so I'm not really going to focus on them too much. The file browser in itself is codenamed Kaha, and uh, basically, again, this is uh, based on older technology, but it's still kept up to date with uh, some recent plugin management. So basically, that means now in Preferences, uh, you can see there's a new Extensions tab that allows you to add plugins uh, to or add extensions to the uh, to the Kaha file manager. Uh, gives you a little bit more, I guess, flexibility in terms of how you can use the file manager and sort of the sort of actions you can take with it. Something else that I really appreciate about more advanced file managers, and this one included, is the ability to customize uh, the different icons and different folders that are in your uh, file manager. So you can customize the background for the very uh, for what happens behind the file 
folders, you can change the color of the folder icons themselves. So you can see now pictures is orange as opposed to all the other ones. So if there's ones that you're using a lot, then it's definitely worth customizing uh, those icons so that uh, you know the more re the more relevant ones stand out to you. The other thing that I really appreciate about Linux Mint Mate is the fact that it is fairly light on your system resources. So if we go to the system monitor here, you can see that we'll probably be using somewhere in the vicinity of about 420 megs of RAM, and that's after I've already had quite a few system processes open. Uh, so it still seems to be fairly minimal on this dual core CPU that I've, that I've assigned to it virtually. And as you can see, just as we've been navigating around the system, I'm not really left waiting for much in terms of the uh, overall responsiveness of the system. Also, if you're looking to get better battery life out of your system, then using something like Mate would probably give you a little bit better battery life as it's not as CPU intensive as we just saw. Now here are some of the things that you're not going to find on Linux Mint Mate. You're not going to find a notification center, a centralized place where all of your notifications will pop up. You're also not going to find any desktop widgets. What you will find are widgets that you can add to the taskbar or the, or the panel down on the bottom here. You can customize this however you like. Um, uh, and they do have a lot of great widgets there. Unfortunately, you can't really expand on these and there's not a whole bunch of community work going into the sort of widgets that are available for this bottom panel. Again, if you wanna look into that, then you'll definitely wanna try out the Cinnamon version as there are a lot more desklets and widgets to put on the task panel. But just to summarize, Linux Mint Mate's stronger points are the fact that it's very simple, it's very easy for someone to pick up and use if they're used to a Windows-based operating system. It's very flat, it doesn't try and confuse the user with a whole bunch of customization at the face level, and it's lighter on resources than the more modern systems are. You still get all the great features that you get from running Linux Mint as your desktop operating system, including a fantastic update manager, very stable, solid software base. So if you're looking to make the jump to Linux, then Linux Linux Mint Mate would probably be the way to go. All right, so this desktop environment has a lot going for it. I prefer it because of its simplicity and also because of its decent level of customization without getting crazy. I was a big fan of Linux Mint back in the day and that's what it looked like for me. That was the first time that I used it was Linux Mint 8. So it is my personal favorite, but your mileage is going to vary. So let me know what your experiences are in the comments section below. As always, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Follow me there if you want to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel. I will see you all in the very next video. Peace out ladies and gentlemen.